Welcome back to another Guardian Tales video. Boys, we are in... We're only on floor two because we did a couple resets and whatnot. We, we got up to um, boss number seven. I think we got smashed on the boss. But um, anywho, we got a bunch of attacks we're going to run through here. It's, it's nice to kind of see different runs because you get different um, artifacts. And that makes things cool. For example, my last run, I had 300% skill damage. I had 50 per... No, I had 70% um, skill regen rate and a bunch of other cool things. And now we've got a bunch of defensive things. We're actually going to jump out here real quick. I want to go back and show the Augma event and talk about what it show, show and talk and those things, words. But anyways, this would have done. So I went through here and I took out the Marina stuff first. So I pushed to the end, got the Marina stuff. We're doubling back right now on the bottom line here. Once I pick up these two Marina nodes, and that should take me two to three days from this video, um, I will have enough to five-star the Marina, and then I'm gonna go back. I'll pick up the, the reroll stones, because those are relatively rare, and then I'll come back here and I'll pick up the Augma shards as much as I can until the event is out. But that's what we're doing here. Obviously, I'd like to get everything on the screen, but I don't know if that's mathematically possible. You don't get a lot of coffee, but we'll do what we can do. But that's, hey, she got treasure for me. I see you, little girl. Come on, click. And then as far as uh, my town, I'm just clicking the buttons and upgrading stuff. It's pretty straightforward. I kind of like it. It kind of scratches that itch, that satisfaction you get from building like a StarCraft town. I know there's tons of mobile games these days that um, are town builders and those things. And usually those games are actually quite annoying. But this one, it's nice. It's chill. It's nice to know there's some progress going on when I'm completely doing nothing. But anyway, let's get back into the content. So let's go back to Camazone. Um, other things I want to talk about. She's not on this team, but Karina, I have... Um, for some reason, I was running around with a four-star Karina exclusive weapon, and I don't know why I didn't five-star that. I don't know why I didn't notice that. So it is five-star now. It was a massive, massive boost um, to her output. Please don't die, Marina. It's too early for you to be dying, girl. You got way too many survival artifacts on right now. But anywho, um, it's, uh, yeah, so... My Karina, the Dark Healer, she had a four-star weapon for whatever reason. I don't know. It's upgraded to five-star, and it was a massive um, DPS increase from what she was doing before. She's not some great damage dealer now, but um, I think I almost doubled her output. And the way that she heals is the more damage she does, the more healing she does. So that, that's a pretty big deal. And so you'll probably be seeing a little bit more of her in the future. Also, she is a... Do I want Earth Attack? No. Do I want... All right. Water Attack? No. I guess I'll get this one. Um, let me show my artifacts as we go upstairs. But um, you'll be seeing more of her in the future. I think Dark is really good for PvE. Probably not the best for PvP. Maybe Coliseum. But anywho, what, what's the map got for me? Not a lot of options up here. There's some question marks. I'm not a big question mark fan. So let's just kind of run through this real quick. I think the little dog is ready to go inside. You want to go inside? That's what I thought. And is there anything else I want to... No, I'll keep this, this set up. But anyways, yeah, so Karina, and then she's also four-star. So my Karina's up to four-star. All of my dark team people are up to four-stars. And they'll probably be five-star by the time I farm all the Augma shards. That seems to be how it goes. There we go, quite nice. And I think I told you guys I was going to show you my, um, my artifacts. So let's go do that real quick. Doodle-doo. Come on, little loading man. All right, artifacts. So we have 50% hit point recovery on enemy kill. That's pretty big, although I've seen some health spiking up and down, especially on Marina. 50% shield increase on battle start. That I was hoping that would kind of cover the spread, and these are obviously the options that I got to play anyways. 30% discount on the Agatha the shop. I'll replace that when I can. Skill attack. I had three of these um, last run I did. It was actually quite fun. And then um, minus weapon skill on enemy kill. I feel like... Minus one second is not a lot, but obviously it's a low-grade artifact, so what do you expect? So There we go. I do try to chase the, the red nodes because you want the most chance to get all the currency and to get the artifacts because the artifacts are really what makes a difference. If you get up to like floor number three or four and you, you don't have good artifacts, your decent team might just explode in front of your eyes. So it's all about the artifacts, and um, it does make the runs unique. I can imagine when I have a really good team set up, or if I have like some diversity in my lineup, like second string and third string and all that kind of stuff, um, we could probably get quite high in the tower, and that would actually make it really, really fun. 
But anywho, let's, all right, let's go do the red one. I've had the red ones be more difficult than, um, but just keep this position, more difficult than um, the boss sometimes. So, important to know. Uh, see the tower in the back, that's kind of concerning. The tower, if it's the, this doesn't look like a laser beam tower, this just looks like the random blast. But the laser beam towers, the AI completely can't handle laser beam towers. And I've seen a full, healthy, beautiful team just like this run into a laser beam and all just die for no reason. So, although as I think about doing more game dev stuff, I'm trying to think how in the world would I code AI to not just walk into the laser like a moth? And the cop out would be, well, just don't have enemies that have the laser beam. Yeah, but that's lazy. Should increase on battle start or crit chance? I'm going to go with the mid grade over the low grade 99% of the time but now you're gonna see more shielding on the battle start. It would be nice to hit an Agatha shot because I have the discount. I might actually end up getting rid of that artifact before I get the discount to use it. That would be kind of sad. Here we go, Hecate. Um, it's important to look at the two-star heroes, if, especially if you're a free-to-play. Some of the two-star heroes are freaking fantastic. Um, they just all happen to be on the Earth team, but you know, hey, it is what it is. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm actually, I'm kind of not. <laughs> but there's a lot of two-star heroes that are actually really, really good um, and worth looking at. Um, Aisha, she's amazing with support. She's one of the biggest um, damage buffs that you can get. That's with Aisha. Um, and um, Heke, yeah, she's good. You know that. Um, who else? There's a bunch I'll, I'll think of. I'm trying to think about like non-Earth ones. Oh, Akayama, Ake, whatever her name is. I believe she's fire melee. She has a sword attack that teleports her around. Apparently with her exclusive weapon, she's a boss. She's a she's an important little chick to be thinking about. And I'm sure there's other ones too. I'm, I've heard videos about Coco, but I don't know if I believe that. Bop, bop, bop. Let's do another boss fight. So I'm not going to do the mental math because I'm lazy. But... Um, Viper clan leader. All right. Um, but we might get a second boss attack if everything goes well. Maybe. Was this attack six or do I have six after this attack? That's the question. I do think this boss is cool. You see him in a lot of content, so I, I understand that. But this boss, is he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Fun, he's a fun fight. Super easy to dodge, but it's still... He's still got enough spice to him that it feels um, rewarding when you do dodge him. And um, I know I didn't want to talk about Earth heroes, but speaking of two-star heroes, I mean, Aya was a two-star hero, and she's a phenomenal healer. However, there, there are no three-star dedicated healers anyways. So it's kind of wonder, it kind of makes you wonder um, if slash when three-star support heroes and, and um, dedicated healers come out how it's going to completely change the meta. Whatever color team, whether it's light or, or whatever color, um, whoever gets the first three-star healer, that's going to be a pretty good two weeks for them. And then what we got here? Recover hit points every couple seconds, light attack, basic attack. Yeah, it's good mid-grade. I'm not a mega fan of it, but it'll work. It'll work. Do I need to heal anybody? Doesn't matter. They could both get there. I don't like how none of the reds line up with the shop. I want to hit the red and then go into the shop. That's that's the goal. But this does have a little healy thing right there. Maybe that heal might be nice right before a boss. We are on floor four. Eh. But I think I can get you guys another boss before the video is over. So let's go do that. Strategy looks fine. You think putting your team in like the center of the map would make sense because it's kind of symmetrical and it feels that way. But honestly, um, if you squish your team down to one side of the map, you only have to really defend one side. You got the wall. I don't know if it matters at all, probably doesn't. I did a couple runs on the orbital lift level 225, and I forgot what team comp I used, but I had a couple runs where I was super close to getting it. Um, and I don't know what I changed. I don't remember what team it was, unfortunately. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention. But I was super, 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 super close to... Um, let's switch that super close to, to getting a win there and um it's nice because when i first started doing that level i would just walk in there and insta die just like boom team gone you had a team and then now you don't but um now that we've we've improved some stuff the accessories have gotten a lot better augma's on the team now um we're actually making some progress 
but I can't remember what team I use, so we'll figure that out. There's only a handful of heroes I like using anyways. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is I think when Marina gets five star, I think we can do it, because uh, usually she's the first one to die even though she does the most work. All right, do I want to go for the red? Or do I want to go to the store? I have so much currency that I have to go to the store, man. Because who knows, I might die on the final boss and never use all this currency. A junk dealer appears with clattering noise coming out of his bag. Seems like he is going around Camazon collecting artifacts. He only asks, you want to sell an artifact? Make a deal with him. More than one artifacts needed. And let's look at artifacts. What would I sell? I could sell that. I'm not, not a big fan of that. Eh, that might be nice. I don't know. Just to test out this thing, let's... Also, sometimes you can scroll, you have multiple options. It's interesting, this kind of gives me those vibes of those little text-based RPGs that... Um, he wants that. What? You don't get to choose what artifact you sell? I'm not, I don't really think it's a big problem losing that. I thought I would get to choose, so now we learned. What if it accidentally sold like my favorite thing? That would have been so bad. I'm okay losing the 20%. It was nice, but you know. Hit point recovery on enemy kill. That's kind of interesting. Crit chance, that's nice. We have enough money to get anything we want here. Um, if I had more skill damage ones, the skill damage, or the skill weapon skill regen speed would be quite nice. But hit point recovery on kill, I already have one. I do want the crit, so let's do that. And then here, do I want weapon skill regen speed? Or do I want the hit point recovery and enemy kill? That's a full heal, but is it overkill? I'm already getting 50. I, I wanna spend my currency, but I kinda feel like it's overkill. I'm really disappointed. There's not a, uh, whatever, I'll just buy it. And since I have so much currency, I might just, do I replace? I guess I could replace that. I was wondering if I replace the 30% discount. How far do I think I'm gonna get? All right, let's do this one. And I'll replace the weapon skill region enemy kill. Because how many enemies are per map? Is it like five to eight enemies? So I'd get like one extra skill in. It's a low grade, so I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Although if I think about the math, 20% is probably, 20% reduction is probably inferior to getting minus one second per kill. But live and learn, I'm, I'm not gonna sweat it. It's fine. Kind of disappointed in that shop, but it, it is what it is. Uh, looks good to me. Do I want to move a team? I don't think I do. It kind of bugs me that there's no shield that is a perfect skin match for Ogma. I think there's a, like a Minotaur shield that kind of matches his weapon best. It kind of is black with the, the yellow-orange trim. So maybe that might work out cosmetically, but it's whatever. I'm very curious to see what kind of cosmetics Ogma gets in the future. He has a red cosmetic right now. I don't see a reason to get it. It's just a recolor. And I think recolor is fine, but not for 1,200 gems. If it was like 300 gems, then maybe if I liked red, I would do it, but not for 1,200. Unless it changes his like voice acting, or unless it changes like what his projectiles look like or something, then uh, I'm not that interested in it. All right, boys, last attack. So I think I got you three bosses today. Let's just double check and see what I can do. This is our moment. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully we smash this and I can show you guys some cool content. We have a, a decent amount of survivability on our artifacts. Marina dipping down, spiking up. The 50% heal on kill is kind of nice. Probably should have kept the, the weapon skill reduction thing, but again, it's a, it's a low grade artifact. I'm not gonna sweat it. And then hopefully we get something nice here. We might replace the 20% anyways. It's not bad. It's just you and me, guys, and the, the black loading screen. I have minimal complaints about the, the loading and stuff in this game. All right. 20% shield increase on battle start. I guess I can just get it back. 
Um, 20% hit points every 10 seconds. I feel like I have enough heals from the kills, and I already have a metronome, I think. Um, I guess the shield increase on battle start. Well, how long is a battle? I could get 20% once, or I could get 20% every 10 seconds. And if these battles, keep in mind the battles are sped up times two, there's a chance I could get, if I get two heals with this, um, seems to be the way to go. And also my healer might be um, stunned in some way. There's a possibility, maybe, maybe the enemies hit a chain skill on her or something. So maybe that'll work, but I have to decide what I wanna get rid of. Let's get rid of uh, this one. Get out of there, low grade. And are we back on floor six? No, we're on floor five. I thought I did three bosses. I guess I only did two. That makes sense, because I had 12 attacks. All right, boys. You get the idea. But there's somewhere you can click that shows you all of your bonuses all at the same time. Is it this? Do I click on the little guy? I don't want to click on finish. Do I click on hero? You can use team combination with specific party members. I don't know what, what clicking that does. Oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for, the party buff list. That is kind of cool. So this is what we're getting. We're getting 100% hit points, recovery on enemy kill, 50% shield at the start, 100% skill attack. We're getting 40% hit points every 10 seconds, crit chance. So very low on um, offense, but you get it. There's my household stuff. It shows what I'm getting from collections. How did I not discover this button earlier? Look at that. So nice. Do your book, people. This all comes from the book. It's kind of nice. Where's baskets? 6.7% damage when with basket. Uh, that's because I was going to do Nari Bari team. I might still do it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm good, totally going to still do it if I ever get her. All right, boys, you get the idea. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll check you out in the next video.